We know that email communication lacks the tone, inflection, and emphasis qualities we have with voice communication. There are some writing tools available which will help your recipient read a written message in the tone you intended. Examples of writing tools for emphasis include the use of bold, italics, all caps, font style, type size, underline, color, and emoticons. By using these tools, you are able to add important inflection, emphasis, and even convey meaning of tone to your written message. While tools for written emphasis can help you bring tone to written messages, it's important to use them sparingly and with great care. Like many situations with email, what you meant to convey and what your recipient gets out of your message can easily be two different things. And while intention is important, how the recipient understands your message is truly what matters most. First off, ensure your message uses a single font or type style with the same type size all the way through. Anything else will come across as unprofessional, unrefined, and will distract the reader from your message. Next, bold, italics, color, or underline can be useful in situations where you need to put emphasis on a particular word, phrase, or sentence. Again, a little goes a long way. Beware, because italics can make text difficult to read. Underlining could be confusing if the reader thinks you're signifying a hyperlink address. Bold is especially helpful if there are a few words or a sentence that's crucial to getting your point across. To decide what to bold, answer this question. If your recipient were to only skim a single sentence in your email message, which would it be? Be careful not to overuse these emphasis tools or you'll water down their effectiveness. For example, an entire message using all bold.